Let's look at another example for solving equations with the variables on both sides. This time we're going to solve for n and we have a fraction involved. So first thing I want you to understand is that when you have half times the quantity n minus 4, that's the same as taking half of n minus 4, which can also look like this. dividing that quantity by 2. So when we think about this, if we were to undo this division of 2, we're going to multiply it by 2. So we're going to multiply each term by 2. Remember that only terms that are connected with multiplication are part of that multiplication, but terms that are not still need to be multiplied each time. So now what we have is those canceled out. We just have n minus 4. Remember, it was just like taking this, dividing it by 2. Now we're multiplying it. It just canceled out that division. But now we've got negative 7 times 2, so that's negative 14. This would be negative 4n, and this would be 12. Now, we're going to look at like terms. So we've got negative 4 minus 14. That's negative 18. Over here, we're as simplified as we can be. Next, we're going to combine our terms. Well, 1n is greater than negative 4n. So I'm going to add 4n to both sides. That undoes the negative. Now we have 5n minus 18 equals 12. Finally, I'm going to add 18 to both sides. And that's going to give us 5n equals 30. Undo this division, or excuse me, this multiplication with division, and we can see that n equals 6. 30 divided by 5 is 6. So in this problem, we did not distribute the half. We could have. We could have distributed the half, and it would have been 1 half n minus 2. But you've still got that fraction in there. And so when you have a fraction, the first thing you want to do is eliminate that fraction first. So get rid of that division first. Then proceed with carrying on. You may need to distribute and do these other properties.